what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics greetings to you wherever you are all right um as we already know peter will be made a world press conference today uh being the 11 of october 2023 over this certificate saga between atiku abubaka uh, versus Tinibu and chicago state university of course what peter will be said um it is the truth nothing but the truth and then the, um, according to peter b he said the country's reputation is really really at stake as a result of the controversy surrounding uh, the diploma certificate of uh, tinibu yet that is um i mean i seems to agree with uh, peter b because somebody once mentioned that um the same thing peter b said that he was in an aeroplane traveling to somewhere, something like that. And then the, since the person knew that he was a Nigerian, uh, the person asked him if it is true that his president has no certificate. Yes. I mean, this tenable certificate, if it were to be in, you know, a Western or a country that works ever since the, the person as in would have resigned from that position or clear his name, like seriously. But have you seen ever since this uh, certificate saga, Tinibu coming on air to address the issue, uh, but the only people we hear on the mainstream and the social media is his media advisors. As if they were not enough, Tinibu had to hire four more media advisors with the hardship Nigerians are going through, the APC didn't hire four new economic advisors. But just because of Chicago State University saga, four new media advisors were appointed. It doesn't make sense at all. People believe at this point in time, Tinibu would have made a press conference regarding um, all the allegations uh, level against him, but what we hear is uh, his legal team coming out to you know misinform Nigerians about what the Chicago State University said. It didn't just end there. They went ahead, of course. <laughs> uh, what money cannot do, more money can do. That BBC have to release their own report of Chicago State University. Guess what? They said there is no evidence that there was a forgery or tenable forge uh chicago state university ah, ah, for what a whole bbc i respected bbc so much but with this alone i now seems to understand that yes the reason why there was all this saga when tenable tried to stop atiku Abubaka from gaining access to his educational document you all remember what happened emergency appeal not until George Nancy said no. The way she have or she got emails from Nigerians asking, uh uh, when will she deliver the judgment? Uh this and that. The lady did a nice job. And now, because of this saga, Nigerians, according to Peter B, Nigerians are seen as 419, which is the truth, nothing but the truth. Let me allow you to listen to what Chiga, uh, Peter Obi is asking Tinibu to do. Good morning, everybody. A party chairman, a DG, and all the stakeholders of our party president, gentlemen of the press. Good morning, this is a press conference. Having followed a prolonged identity crisis that recently played out in the American court system and the controversy, surrounding the authenticity of the Chicago State University credentials achieved. 
Bola, I'm a tribal. I must confess and distress as a Nigerian. In addition to the badge of media figure at home and abroad, I have had the wholesome burden of responding to embarrassing questions about the Nigerian overall credibility as a nation, a privileged audience and individuals, both at home and abroad in different parts of the world as travelers. So the outsiders, the entire Chicago University matter, as well as Chief Ola Ahmed many other legal identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian left than glorious image internationally. Uninformed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a foster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment that have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Ola Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protected embarrassment and undue fight. Even in this place in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Bola Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple type of obligation only he can discharge. I therefore, respectfully and humbly, call on him to immediately and personally mount the rostrum of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to the nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name his nationality, his place of birth, his current age, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates, as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. It should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he has had a change of name, it should state so clearly a circumstance that is left in service, no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, no long court process, spokesperson, agents, or surrogates. The task is one that only Chief Paula Tinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently without to let to rest, rest and for the last time, the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity.